anticipating that the boss will be honored and they will get interest and then when people retire, they will have their monies. Today, the minister is reporting to this house that such bonds cannot be honored. So all of us, all government workers, wherever you are located, it is not a fight for the agent alone. It is a fight for all of us. Yes. Mr. Speaker, this thing must not be allowed to happen in this country. In fact, I am even confused. I have been asking simple, simple questions. Now you are saying that you don't have the money. You cannot pay your interest. So you are pushing it up. 2027, what do you have in the pipeline to pay for this money in 2027? What investment have you made? In 2027, where are you going to get the money from? It is just because of political expediency. You know, you just have two years. You have just two years in office. So within the two years, you are pushing all the debt beyond two years so that you leave the seat and whoever succeeds you will come and show that the mess that you have created. This thing must not be allowed to happen. Mr. Speaker, the minister ought to have resigned long ago. The minister for finance ought to have resigned long ago. Our, our colleagues, on the other hand, they share this view with us. They agree with us that the minister is messing up the economy. It is because of his relationship with Mr. President that he's still in office. And he continues to destroy the foundations of this economy. So Ghanaians must rise up. We must rise up against the incompetence, the recklessness of the Honorable Minister of Finance. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, Honorable, Honorable Member, your time is up. Mr. Speaker, yeah. on this note, on this note, I thank you very much. More time because the I thank you very much. And then conclude that the Minister will never be forgiven. He will never be forgiven for destroying the economy of this country and impairing the lives of even children yet unborn in this country. Posterity will never forgive him. He should resign today. He should resign today.